Alright guys, before we get into today's video, I'd like to give a shout out to One Football. Check them out in the link in the description to keep up to date with United, the Prem, or whichever team you support for the latest news, goal alerts, transfer rumours and stats. They've got articles and videos as well. So whichever team you support, check them out in the link in the description. <laughs> You're right guys, Travelling Blade here, back again for another vlog in the space of like two, three days, something ridiculous. A very busy, festive fixture list for all teams in the Premier League. Today, we have the small matter of Manchester City away. Another one of those games when you're going down to Gillingham away, crew away. Where one of those games where you dream of, uh, one of those fixtures that you dream of playing. One of those fixtures that when we were back in League One, you'd hopes to get in the FA Cup or League Cup draw and today that dream becomes a reality a new ground for me the Etihad um, absolutely can't wait I've not been this excited for a United game for quite a while now and I can't wait I mean we could get drossed who knows however Man City aren't in the best form at the minute uh, the other day they lost 3-2 away to Wolves a ground which when we went we drew 1-0 so hopefully that's a sign <laughs> of uh, what's what can come today but yeah man city not in the best form at the minute they're currently third i think guardiola's pretty much accepted that they can now only just push for second place they're below leicester yeah. having watched the highlights the other day against wolves there was quite a few defensive errors which hopefully they persist today and we can uh, capitalize on it's not an injury but for them edison is uh, suspended after being sent off at molyneux and I believe that he said people like David Silva, Gabriel Jesus and John Stones will be assessed. So they might not start. Um, it's up for contention whether Aguero is going to start. At one of the best strikers the Premier League's ever seen, along with Luis Mousse. And so we've got basically, we're going to be facing a very tough team, at least attacking wise today. Defensively, it's not been the best. It's not the best era for Man City defence at the minute. So hopefully they can... Um, started to crack I think there's quite a bit of pressure on them I mean I'm saying that oh you know it might play in our favor that they lost to Wolves the other day but that might just give them a kick up the arse that they need and they're gonna think right we, we need to win this home game might be seen as like a must win for them especially because they're gonna look at us and think on a, at least on an individual player level they're not they're nowhere near as talented but hopefully we can go cause an upset bloody a few noses not literally, um, but I think Man City, this is going to be one where Pep's going to have them very drilled and will not want to lose this. Even a draw for Man City, probably a bad result today and will pile a lot of pressure onto them, even more so than they've got. For us, um, I think Wilder just said he's going to have to look at players on based on their fatigue. I don't really know if everyone, anyone, anyone will be dropped. I may, maybe he'll start with Moose up top, maybe he'll see that as a, um, a more suitable to facing Man City. I'm not sure, I can't see many changes. Maybe a change up top with uh, McBurney and McGoldrick. Maybe Moose comes in for McBurney. I can't wait, I think, because there's no pressure on United. All the pressure is on Man City. Today we just go there, have a great day out. Six o'clock kickoff. I mean, for the fans that have to have a great day out, Man City, we've got no pressure on us to win. I think we're currently eighth. Um, obviously, after yesterday, a load, a load of teams played, picked up points, which moved them above us. So hopefully today we can get something. I mean, I'd be over the moon with the draw. And imagine if McGoldrick gets a late equaliser in front of that away end. Goodness gracious me. But yeah, today should be a great day, great, great away day. No pressure on United. And let's see if we can grab something. All right, though. Skull has got the bailers out. Hey, uh, cheers, son. Cheers. Good play. What's your prediction for Man City? Man City. One, one, one all. Oh, Prediction me sat by myself because I'm sad and all. Really? You're in level one, aren't you? You are? Level, level one, one wanker. <laughs> level one wanker. J Dot's golden. Um, my prediction today is hopefully a 1 1, but I don't think it's going to be a 1 1. So I think it's probably 3 1 City. You said 4 0 a minute ago. 3 yeah. 1 City. You bitch. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win today. Do you, think we'll we'll, you think we're going to score though? We'll score, yeah. I think the goal drought will score. We'll, we'll get a goal. meaningless 1 when we're like 5 0 down. Yeah, I think so, yeah. 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 So. Do you? Yeah, I think on the cheek, on the eager bomb. Yeah, I think <laughs> stick it in. I think it will be one one. One one. I think it will go one nil. Can I hang on? Yeah. I think it will go one nil down. 
It'll be one nil to them at half time. Get the arms out. And I think, and I think McBurney will score. McBurney. And it'll be one one. McBurney will bag a late equaliser. Tom pulls in. Uh, one one. John Fleck, 63rd minute. That's very precise. You put your 10 quid on that Sky Sports. Do it. I wish. Shove it on to about 100 to 1. <laughs> All the bookmakers are available. Alan! Al! Score prediction. I don't want a minute. Let me have a think. <laughs> pause it a minute. This is, this is Alan's brain working as we film. It's got right on right, didn't it? Right, right. Well, was it? Yeah, I'm right. I'll say. Get his cock out. Apart from McBurney, not getting his cock out. Do you think we'll score? Yeah. I mean, I think we'll lose, but I think we'll score. But if we're going to win, we're gonna, if, if we're going to win, they're going to score, so... But, don't you know, pump it up. Chancellor's fucked it up and don't you know, pump it up. We're going to Europe and don't you know, pump it up. Chancellor's fucked it up and don't you know, pump it up. We're going to Europe. Big right. right. oh, yeah. An honour to have you on my vlog. Thank you, you. What do you reckon the score be today? 2-0. Two, nil. Two. Nil. To City. Two. To us. It could be. To them. Do you not think we'll score? I ain't got a fucking clue, man. <laughs> it could be anything. What we could lose 2-0. We could lose 4-0. We could win 2-0. <laughs> It'll One be two. what it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Good up, Jim Bravo. Get out. Oh, into him, into him. You're not champions anymore. You're not champions. You're not champions. You're not champions anymore. We are panicking here. We are panicking. Four back. Turn. Too late. You're too late. There was somebody on the left. Who was that caught on the left that ran past him? Bollocks! I've just fallen over two rows of steps. VAR! Oh! Can't get over the goal. I fell over two rows of seats. Ruined someone's bubble. Scores again! Leeds Luce and it scores. Oh, for me, you ought to ruin it. Get there, get there, get there. You've got to get there! Into him! That was a big chance for United that, a big chance for United. Fucking hell. Alright, half time nil-nil. Only one team's put the ball in the net and it was us. I fell over the seats. I ruined someone's bovril. I feel so bad. My back's fucked. I fell over the seats. We scored. Moose put it in the net. VAR ruled it off offside. We put the ball in the net. I tell you what though, we've had very little of the game. It's been Man, uh, Ford and Slip, Man City all over us. Down this end, so although they've had about probably had about 85% possession, Dean Henderson has had very little to do. Saying that when we've been forward, I mean, which have been very, very little, it almost feels like the first uh, first half when we went to West Ham away and we had very little of the ball, it felt like we were playing through treacle. When we got forward, we've been able to create, we, we've created little. I mean, to be honest, we're the only team that's put the ball in the fucking net. But we've got to, I think I think the second half is very much similar to the first. Sit back, soak it up, see what we can get on the counter. If anything.
Man City have gone one up, but the ref got in the way. 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 Come on, if he gets one goal this season, please let it be known. Match thoughts and everyone's blind. Ah, go on. What we saying? Not disappointed with the way we played. Just disappointed with officiating. Would you have changed starting lineup, Robinson? No. We, we set. Up. You just stayed with starting lineup then? Yeah, I think we set up to catch them on break, and I thought we did do that. Yeah, I thought that. But officiating ref. on the way on it yeah Can't what's your thoughts on the refs less you know well <laughs> said the better can't swear can I <laughs> mate <laughs> you can it's fucking shit <laughs> Driver fucking stinks, mate. It smells like bag eggs. Who are you? Anyway, Texas are like far and wide. We go to Merseyside. Shout out to me. What do you reckon to the ref today? Fucking shit, mate. VAI is fucking shit, innit? It's fucking football, up, mate. Chris, it's fucking job all up. Like it was. Bring back League One. To be fair, mate, what I did I say? Man City had win 2 1. We, we fucking lost 2 1. Out. 
Yeah, yeah right. it on your request, Go on mate. Liverpool. Come on. Da, 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 da. All right, so full time Man City 2, United 0. I didn't know that I could go to Man City away and leave that frustrated. There was so much that frustrated with me that game. Um, I mean, it didn't really frustrate me. I thought I didn't really agree with the lineup. I think I saw what Wilder was trying to do, but it just didn't materialise on the pitch. I think uh, I think Moose is obviously. I think Moose is a brilliant striker, and I like Callum Robinson a lot. But I think you can't have both of them together. They're both the strikers that run onto the ball, um, and I think we were missed that target man or anchor like player like um, Molly McBurney, ups, particularly David McGoldrick, which is why <clears throat> when those players came on, um, I thought we played so much better. And we had a focal point, that target man, that anchor up front to play off. And then people could run on some more things. It was a frustrating game because um, just watching uh, just watching Ingwood Nick's uh, vlog back now, go and check that out. Um, cause it was all a bit of a blur. Had a little bit too much to drink. Drink responsibly, people. And we actually played very good. I remember watching it. We played some very good football at times. We went toe to toe. We took the game to City, and we really tried. You know, one nil down. Obviously, we'd had a load of setbacks by that point, and we were still playing some very good stuff. And I think also not only were we trying some very good things in the but in both the first and second half, where we were trying to be inventive, creative, things such as that. Um, also, I think we defended very well. We had some brilliant defensive, uh, defending. We were up against players like Raheem Sterling, Kevin De Bruyne, some of the best players in the in the world, let alone the league. And I think we didn't let them run the show that much. Yeah, there were times where we, we had to sit back and soak up the pressure. But they didn't tear us apart. I mean, you know, they had that one, maybe like towards the end when they got the second goal, when they really opened us up. Really, they should have been doing that all game. And I think we defended very well. I was watching some of the footage back now. We had some very good defending, both in our shape, in just stopping the initial, um, you know, which, you know, fortifying that and stopping, not allowing Man City to break us down. And then if they did play balls and crosses into box, we dealt with those very well. I thought it was a very proud performance, but it was a game that f for littered with frustration. So the first half, the goal ruled out. John Fleck plays a brilliant ball through to Moose. Moose runs onto it brilliantly, finishes it brilliantly, and the scenes were biblical in that away end. Whoever's Bovril I knocked over, I deeply apologise. Please come up to me at the next game, and I will buy you another Bovril. We scored limbs all over, and I don't know if you've ever been to the Man City away end, especially in that third tier. It's very steep, very steep. It was like being at Wembley, and fell over backwards in the seat, seat in front. My back's been aching all day. Uh, I've been finding bruises all over the place. Into someone's bovril. Absolute pandemonium in that away end. Uh, Joe, who comes in, Donny Blade, said that was some of the best limbs he's ever had. We were robbed of that moment. By VAR, which we all know and love. Chalked it off. Uh, Mark LeBert, the beast from the chase, he's been on Twitter saying, the frame rate and resolution of VAR and the camera angle means that it is not accurate enough to be given decisions where it's splitting hairs like it did yesterday. I have spoke. I went on Five Live today, speak, and there was an ex-ref talking, and uh, he, said, he said that that goal should have stood. There was nothing wrong with it, and that's an ex-professional referee. Um, you know, not just me as a chef by a Sheffield United fan. It's getting ridiculous now, and not just Sheffield United. I mean, one of the worst ones uh, this weekend has been a, a really bad for VAR, but Timu Puki, another one, a brilliant goal even Wilder's come out and said that chalked off for no apparent reason and uh, Lisa Mousset was another one so that was that and we thinking right anyway so we went again we kept going we got into half time at nil nil I thought oh, that's very respectable because I'd have been very happy with the point yesterday and then we get to the second half where the ref decides to you know he thought you know I, you know, I've, I've, I've been walking around looking at all this football malarkey ah, I won't I won't would mind a bit of that myself. And from where I was sat, it looked like uh, the ref actually made contact with the ball. He didn't, but from where I was sat at the angle, 
it really did look like the ref had um, made contact with the ball. I don't think I got it on uh, camera because I was just that shocked at the ref. And what happened was we had the ball. The ball was passed towards John Fleck. The ref obstructed John Fleck. The ball gets away from him because the ref was in the way of Fleck. Through to De Bruyne. He played it through to Aguero. Aguero smashes home. And I thought, surely... I mean, like I said, where I was sat, I know it's now um, apparent that it, the ref didn't make contact and it isn't in the rules. People say, oh, it's not in the rules about the ref obstructing. So right, let's let's just uh, have the ref rugby tackle John Fleck then and on. It's not in the rules. He's obstructed play. I don't care if it's not in the rule, but it doesn't mean it's correct. Unbelievable and cost us the game. You know, it was, we had a mountain to climb. We ended up with Sharpon, McGoldrick, uh McBurney and we did play well and we played some very good stuff trying to break down it just wasn't clicking towards the end you know you got Sharp's header going across the goal line oh how frustrating can you get and in the second state of goal there's nothing wrong with it just ran through and as I expect as you expect going to the Etihad playing brilliant football but it's so frustrating because we went there yeah there were times where we were struggling to get a, get a hold of the game but when we were off the ball we defended resolutely and Broke them down and you know, we didn't give them much joy. I don't think we gave them much joy. They didn't tear us apart, which Man City can tear teams apart. We've all seen them do that. Watford have gone there, got torn apart. And I was worried they might run away with it and they didn't. It was 2-0 in the end. The first goal, I've got a lot of problems with that first goal with the referee. We should have had a goal ourselves. So there's a lot of frustration about that game. But it was a... Brilliant performance by United at times. Some brilliant football played. Some excellent attacking football. Some superb defending football. It was a good day out, which is not everything. Obviously, not what football is just about. It's, you want to get the result or at least something. Or just score a goal that counts every once in a while. Or maybe even defend without the ref getting in your way. Sometimes that's nice to see. Hopefully, we'll get that next time. Who knows? Maybe our luck's in. But... Cracking day out with the Donny Blades, new another ground ticked off, but a very frustrating game that we could have got something from, but we go again for the small matter of Liverpool away. Oh, how I look forward to that. I tell you now, we're going to get a goal ruled out. McGoldrick's going to get a late equaliser in front of that away end, and it's going to get chalked off by VAR. I wish I could bet on VAR. I can see it happening now, but oh, we go to Liverpool away. Let's just pray for a point. Pray for a point. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for Liverpool away.